Hey everyone, we're out here reeling fishing. Thanks for joining me again. Hey, we're out here on Okanagan Lake. Early morning, just a gorgeous morning. We're out here bucktailing for rainbow trout. We're chasing the big ones. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's go! <laughs> Check that beautiful rainbow out. Really in fishing, baby. Okanagan Lake. All right, so it's about lunchtime. I had a, an amazing morning of bucktails, Okanagan Lake, got some beautiful fish, some great video content. Um, the bite slowed down a little bit, so I thought I would take a few minutes and uh, share some tips with you. That's what my channel is all about. I hope you follow and uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll just uh, keep sharing tips and love the feedback and love your comments. Um, thanks a lot. All right, so today got here was pretty cool. It was uh, about two degrees this morning when I first got here and uh, and then it warmed up a little bit. It's probably about six or eight right now, but the wind, uh, the wind picked up and it's quite chilly. So this morning was uh, the first couple hours was slow, uh, was calm but slow and uh, I, I pulled a bunch of different bucktails, tried all kinds of things, but I did notice the water temperature was uh, between 43 and 44 degrees Fahrenheit. And from my experience on Okanagan Lake, that is when um, usually bucktail fishing really starts to pick up. So I was excited, stuck to it. And around 9.30, we got into some, uh, some great bucktails. So I'm running two setups. I've got uh, one is a flat line, just a trolling rod, my vintage trolling rod that I set up. I absolutely love it. And another one is my, um, I set up my uh, fly rod, this time with a full sink, fast sink line on it. And uh, what I do in the full sink is I let it out all the way into the backing and I make sure that I've got 10 to 20 feet of backing underwater behind the boat and I find that 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 uh, if I do that I seem to get the bucktail down to the depth I want. Uh, it doesn't have to be very deep you know five ten fifteen feet something like that. So then my speed um, really 2.6 would be the slowest I go but I got most of the fish today at around 2.83 miles an hour. Um, and I always prefer, if I can, you can't always do that, I always prefer to um, go downwind or go with the wind at my back. Better control of the boat but also uh, speed as well. And I don't know, I seem to catch more fish when I'm going uh, with the wind at my back. So in terms of, of uh, bucktails, let me show you kind of a lineup of bucktails that I've been using. and. Um, I typically will start off with, you know, like the Grey Ghost. Some of these I tie myself. Some of them um, I buy from local fly tires and uh, shops. Um, lots of different different patterns. I'm really trying to mimic kokanee uh, this time of year. This one's about four inches, right? And um, and also kokanee smolts. So uh, rotate through. This one's got a little bit of a rainbow on it, so mimicking more of a, a rainbow trout. You know, the bigger rainbow trout this time of year, when the water temperature hits around 44 degrees, they're just cruising on that sh top layer of water, and they're slamming these little minnows and uh, these little bait fish. And when they hit, it's a it's a lot of fun. It's probably my favorite favorite kind of fishing. So um, here's another one, just a straight white with a little bit of blue, blue on it.
<laughs> Beautiful Okanagan Lake rainbow trout. Check it out. Reel it in fishing. I'm Real Russo. Let's go! Okanagan Lake bucktail fishing. Let's let this guy go. So this is a little bucktail that seemed to be doing the trick today. I think I bought it at, at one of our local tackle shops. I didn't tie this one. You can see it's got a little bit of flash and then some striping there. That's um, the really young kokanee smolts have that striping on them. So um, it's mim mimicking a kokanee smolt. Um, yeah, so that's been my trick today. Like I say, I rotate through a bunch of different colors and uh, today it landed on the green.